This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, T.I. is still adamant about going after 50 Cent. Uh, Charlemagne reacted to the whole T.I. versus thing and said, I'd like to see him go up against Lil Wayne. That's that's even worse than 50 Cent. <laughs> the, if it, if, if T.I. would have trouble going against 50 Cent, which he would, right? T.I. has a lot of hits. T.I. is in the conversation because he's a top-tier artist. Period. We know that. T.I. used to be one of my favorite artists. But when you go through T.I.'s hits, you start to realize that, eh, it might not measure up. You know, he's got a good 10 to 12 solid, solid hits. 50 Cent has more than that. Little Wayne has more than both of them combined, okay? Little Wayne has been on just one year alone of his career, Billboard 100, 100 songs, 100 songs on Billboard 100 in one, that's just one year of his career. Little Wayne's dangerous. Little Wayne's been doing this for 25 years been doing this for 25 years he's been active for 24 of them pretty much you know so come on man ti don't have doesn't have a chance against Lil wayne ti and jeezy need to go and get in rumble before he can get out of atlanta because honestly the gucci man and jeezy one happened because they had beef in the past but we know Jeezy's records are more commercial, commercially hit records than Gucci Man's. Gucci Man got his records. Gucci Man's a legend. Gucci Man put a lot of rappers on. Just that alone makes him the best out of Atlanta just because Gucci Man put so many people on. He pushed Atlanta culture, Atlanta rap culture forward during that, that period right there from 2006 up until now he pushes the culture forward not just atlanta just rap period now because he signs rappers out of atlanta push icy uh he helps big 30 get bigger he helps a lot of rappers man migos young thug uh metro boomin as a producer mike will as a producer uh and then, you know, you got Waka, OJ, the Juice Man. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj needed that that lift to get... See, she was already with Wayne, pretty much. You know, like, she had met Wayne in 2007, 8, in the studio. But Wayne wasn't sure about signing her until Gucci got turned her up another level past the DVDs. Then it was like, all right, I need her over here. Uh, Little Wayne doesn't. I mean, Little Wayne would demolish Fifty Cent, would demolish Ti. Little Wayne can only go up against like a a Jay Z or somebody at that caliber. You know, too many records. Birdman said Little Wayne shouldn't go versus anybody because he's just too big. I kind of agree. The Drake uh, Michael Jackson debate is tiring. Uh, Drake is not Michael Jackson, even though he says he is on Certified Lover Boy. And I think that's what really sparked this. Also, him breaking Michael Jackson's records on Hot 100, having the top five or six slots. Listen, Drake is not Michael Jackson. Drake is the top artist, one of the top artists right now. There's a couple of them. He's one of them. Drake, when he stays at a hotel, doesn't have this happen. It doesn't look like a concert's happening outside of his hotel. Different times, man. Different times. Artists are too accessible now. Nothing special. Plus, there's just... See, Michael Jackson came at a time, if you do music history, right? When he dropped Thriller, music had been trash. If you look, at, if you look back at music, I didn't experience this. I wasn't even born to experience this. But the disco era was trash. 
it was party time. It was time for drugs, clubs, and a lot of <laughs> weird stuff was going on back then, okay? The music wasn't so great. There was like singles. There wasn't a great body of work. Michael Jackson dropped a great body of work and kind of saved music when he dropped Thriller. So a lot of people were attached to him for the next 20 years that, during that era, you know? And look, you know, yeah, Michael Jackson's just like amazing, bro. You know what I mean? It's Michael Jackson. You're not going to just say that about Drake. You're not going to say, it's Drake, you know? It's just, it's different. You can't even put words to it. It's so different. Drake is not Michael Jackson. <laughs> he's He's done a lot, though. He's accomplished a lot. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.